Hi, let's learn now how to deal with loops in Logic Pro. There are basically two main scenarios when we import a loop from a third-party source. In this case, I imported this loop that doesn't fit the tempo of my song. I can see it because this loop is two bars and I highlighted here my two bars as you can see they don't fit. So let's learn first how to make a loop that you imported fit the tempo of your song. So the first thing that we want to do is to listen to how many bars the loop we imported is made of. So there's two bars. Then I'm gonna highlight here two bars that correspond to the current tempo I have, 120. Then I'm gonna select the region that I want to time stretch I'm gonna go to edit and under time stretch I'm gonna select time stretch region land to locators which means fit this into this as you can see now the loop has been shortened up meaning has been made faster and now if I turn the click on it's gonna fit the tempo that I had up here. So it's very simple to do. Again, listen to the loop, select it, select the number of bars the loop is made of, and then you're gonna go to edit, time stretch, time stretch region length to locators. And this will adapt the loop to the current tempo. Now another scenario is if you want to find the tempo of the loop and adapt the tempo of your song to the loop. The preparation is similar. I'm going to listen to how many bars the loop is made of. And I'm going to make sure to select the two bars up here with my cycling tool. Then I'm going to go to the edit menu, but this time I'm going to go to tempo. And what do I want to choose is adjust tempo using region length and locators. So this time Logic is going to look at my selection, at the loop, but this time it's going to change the tempo to fit this loop. It's going to ask you if you want to change the tempo globally, so for the entire song or only just for this area. I'm going to select globally. Now you can see my loop fits the two bars, but you can also see that the tempo here has changed to fit the tempo of the loop. Once Logic knows the tempo of our loop, we can go a step farther and transform it into an Apple loop. The advantage of having your loop as an Apple loop is that it will automatically adjust to the tempo of the song therefore avoiding to do this process every time you want to use that specific loop. Now to convert the loop, first follow one of the two steps that I just showed you. And then you're going to right click on the loop. And you're going to select export and add to loop library. Here we can give it a name. Let's call this loop Friday loop bit box. Then I can assign it to a category. For example, I'm going to say drums, beats. I can choose here maybe something like electric. Once I'm ready, I'm going to tap create. Logic is going to analyze the loop and now it put that loop in my loop library. Let's try to find it. So I'm in all drums, beats, and I'm gonna look for Friday. And that's my loop right here. Now I can just drag it and move it to my track. Now the two loops looks exactly the same. But if you notice now, when I change the tempo of the song, 
this loop will stick to that tempo. I can see that this is an apple loop from the icon right up here. It is similar to a regular loop, but it has a line underneath. And so this is an apple loop that's going to adapt always to the tempo of my song. So this is a very quick way to make your loop smarter so they can quickly adapt to the tempo of your song.